So now that we have our box, we have our material applied, we've got our wireframe color set up, we understand the basics of moving around the object by holding down Alt and middle mouse clicking. We really want to get in to start manipulating this box. There's a couple more quick things that will really help us down the line once we start to manipulate the box. And that's a couple different view modes and a couple different ways we can actually arrange these viewports to make it a little easier to work. So right now we kind of have this box in a what's called a shaded edge faces mode. As you can see right now, all these other ones are referred to as wireframe. This is where we can kind of see what, what's happening render wise um, in each one of these viewports. This could by default be set to realistic on your machine. Realistic and shaded are very similar uh, in the sense that the polygons that make up the object have information in them right now. Um, realistic does a couple extra things like adding shadows and ambient occlusion. Things we'll talk about later, we don't have to worry about right now. But as long as this says realistic or shaded, that's all I'm really concerned about. If we have the object selected and we wanted to find out well, where exactly is this back corner? So we have a corner right here, here, here. Well, we have a fourth corner to make a box, but I'm not exactly sure where it's at, how we'd be able to select it. So if I select any object in 3ds Max and I hit F3, I'll actually toggle it to wireframe mode. You can actually see the mode changed here. And if I want to change it back to shaded, I just hit F3 again. And this will take me back out. Now, one other helpful thing is when we use that, it helps me know where points are in space. I can see that's where the back corner is. If I wanted to select it, the top corner right there, super useful. One other thing is you can see that the wireframe mode, the black outline that's following this model, is on right now. We can also toggle that on and off. And all I have to do is select the model and hit F4. And now you'll notice we don't get that black outline. And this can be helpful for when we start to do kind of smoother things or just trying to see how the light is affecting it without that black line kind of influencing our brains. So all I have to do is select it again, hit F4, I can toggle it back on. So F3, toggle to wireframe, F3 again to come back, F4 for wireframe off, F4 for it to come back. And that's kind of the short of that. We can also just do it right here. We can go to wireframe under this menu by just clicking on it, back to realistic, etc., etc. But that's a really useful way to change out the wireframe and the shaded view of our object.